We all know F1 merch is expensive, so where's the market sitting at this weekend at the US Grand Prix at Circuit of the Americas? Merch this weekend at the track is about a 200% markup over what you can buy it for online. Jerome Powell at the Fed is absolutely furious with this. This is the reason we have high inflation and mortgage rates are through the roof. So how much will a special edition Red Bull hat cost you at the track this weekend? If you thought it'd be all oh, around $90 like it is for the regular Red Bull hat, you'd be wrong. It's $140 for a limited edition Red Bull hat, which I'll be honest, isn't even that good looking. So say that $140 hat is out of your budget, you can still get the regular Red Bull Max or Stop and Hat for $90, or you can go online, f1.com, go to the store there. You can get that same hat right now in the store for $29, which is far cheaper than that $90 if you're not good at math. So say you're not a Max fan, you're instead a Sergio Perez fan, Texas, close to Mexico, a lot of his fans are there. You don't like the traditional team hat, you want the special edition hat. That's going to set you back $130, a really bad investment. I don't recommend making that investment because he might not even be with that team next year. I know Red Bull says he's going to be back, but you can never be too sure with Christian Horner and Helmut Marco at the helm there. But $130, I did hear that it is more expensive at the Mexican Grand Prix than it is in the United States. So maybe it is a deal there, but $130 for a hat that I, for a guy that might not be there not the best investment. But let's say hats aren't your thing, you're trying to save your hairline, so you don't wanna wear one of those. Instead, you wanna get a team polo right here. You know, feel a part of something for once in your life. You can get one of these for uh, $140, just like that special edition hat. And it's a polo, but it has one of the stupid zippers right there. Absolutely hate that. I did see one fan complain that it doesn't have all of the Red Bull sponsors on this, which is kind of funny to me because like, why would you want to be a walking billboard for a company that's not paying you? You instead paid $140 to cosplay as a guy that might be a part of the team there. Not for me, but if it's for you, that's good. And where else are you going to wear a pole at other than going to the racetrack, which you might do once or twice a year? You're going to wear it to a brewery on a Sunday afternoon. Somebody's going to walk up to you because they're like, oh, somebody else that likes Formula One. They're going to try to talk to them, and they're going to blankly stare at you because their brain only works in dramatic drive to survive sound bites. And you're like, oh, I wanted to talk about the actual race. Not that that's a personal experience that I've had or anything like that. I talked about Jerome Powell and inflation at the beginning of this. This is another thing that inflation hit because these were 130 last year, not 140. And if you want one right now, you can get one on the F1 shop for $51, which is far cheaper than $140. So say polos aren't your thing, you don't like the collar, you don't like that stupid little zipper thing, you can get a Mercedes team shirt for $110, which again, inflation hit this because it was 90 to 100 last year. Same shirt right now though, on sale in the F1 shop for $42, which is far cheaper than $110, but it is dual purpose, right? You can maybe wear this in a social setting. It's not maybe as weird as wearing a polo because you're not trying to like act professional, or you can wear it on Halloween and cosplay as a member of the team, which is kind of okay, maybe. And don't think that Red Bull is the only one that has outrageous prices. Mercedes is also charging $90 for hats as well. I believe this one over here is $70. The cheapest hat you can find on the grounds at Coda this weekend is a Haas hat for $70, which I did see somebody say if spending $70 on a Haas hat should get you a stake in the team. And I don't disagree with that take right here, but prices are out of control and it's because you get that convenience, right? And Americans, specifically Americans, love to have everything now. It's that instant moment of gratification. We need that instant gratification and we're willing to pay over this. And people are like, I can't believe the price of this outrageous. Well, I can because people continue to pay them. Are they outrageous? Yes. Would I ever spend $140 on a hat? Absolutely not. The principle of that alone is just absolutely ridiculous. But as long as people pay these prices at the track, they're going to continue to do it. And I saw somebody say, oh, it's just supply and demand. Supply is high, demand's high. They're just charging high prices because people will pay it. One last thing I want to talk about, and I don't even know what the prices are on these, but any time that Formula One teams come to America, they always do football jerseys because Americans just love football. And this year is no different. And Ferrari tried to do their football jersey. And honestly, it looks like a FUBU jersey. It looks like trash. I don't know if Europeans like these football jerseys uh, that teams put out when they come over here, but they're terrible looking. McLaren tried it a few years ago, and it looked like it should have been in any given Sunday, and that's not a compliment uh, at all. Red Bulls also tried it before and they all look terrible. So team, stop doing that because they just look laughably ridiculous and nobody's buying them. I mean, somebody probably is, but you shouldn't. So if you're going to buy your merch beforehand, what did we all learn today? We learned that we're going to buy it beforehand, unless you want to pay a 200% markup. But again, Jerome Powell's going to get very mad at you for doing that. 
What are prices going to be in Las Vegas when we get there? 200% markup right now. Is it going to be 300, 400% markup? Are we going to see hats hit $200? I honestly think that we will. So don't fall victim to that and buy your merch beforehand. Buy it from a team website, buy it from F1.com, or go to the outlet shop and get it there because last year's gear is just as good as this year's gear in most situations. So unless you have a kid at the track with you, and that's probably the only way to get them to shut up, buy your gear beforehand right there. So let me know in the comments what's the most expensive piece of merch that you've bought at a racetrack before. Like and subscribe to the channel, and follow me on TikTok at BreakHard, Instagram and Twitter at BreakHardBlog.